G'day there. You're watching the Aussie BIM Guru, and today I've got a quick tutorial. Um, we're going to take the script that we made in my last video um, over on my video about exporting Excel schedules uh, from Dynamo uh, as Revit schedules. Um, sorry, the other way around, um, Excel schedules from Revit schedules. Um, but now I'm going to show you how you can scale this process up um, and actually apply this to multiple schedules, to multiple tabs in an Excel document. I've used this technique on quite a lot of projects um, and quite a lot of scenarios to good effect um, to export a lot of data from the Revit model all at once. Really handy when you might be doing something as such as takeoffs or area schedules, something where you have more than one schedule containing a lot of data. In this case, I'm gonna be using the same custom packages that I used before. So in this case, Crumple, Data Shapes, and Bimorph Nodes, but I'm also gonna be introducing a custom package called Bumblebee, or Archilab Bumblebee, um, which lets us write to multiple Excel tabs at the same time uh, in a much more sophisticated way than we usually would in just the standard export Excel node. Anyway, let's jump in. So um, assuming you've seen my previous video, um, if you haven't, definitely recommend you go check it out. Um, we're gonna be working with a script that does this. Um, currently, it starts a user interface and it lets you pick a schedule from the model. Let's say the room schedule. Um, if you pick a file in Excel and you tell it what worksheet to write to and you export, it will essentially tell you that the script is complete and will also write to there. So we've already got to this point what I want to do now is actually make it so it can export multiple tabs to a new file at the same time. So it's pretty powerful, pretty versatile. Um, it's going to be quite a useful script. I, I've got a, one of my own that I use this for quite often that I decided to, to share uh, with the channel. So what I'm going to do is empty out this file, keep a sheet one in there just because it needs a worksheet. But we're going to start from uh, our demo script. So in this case, I'm going to start from what I call a starter script. Uh, this is going to be available on my GitHub, so I'll just go retrieve my starter script. Um, and just so we can begin from the same place. So just bear with me, here we go. So I'm going to open up Dynamo, but I'm going to start from the script as it stood last time. You're welcome to work from your script as well, um, if, you, if you are following along from last time. I think there's one change I made in my last video that I haven't made in my starter script, which I will just make right now, which in instead of saying was run, I'm going to say was cancelled because it runs even if you cancel it. And then I'm just going to invert these outcomes. So that's essentially what the starter script will look like. Uh, but otherwise, you can see it's a pretty big script already. Um, we only need to make some very minor modifications to it to export multiple Excel sheets to different tabs. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hone in on our drop down menu. We're going to turn this into a list view, which means you can pick more than one schedule and then send more than one schedule through the user interface once you select them as well. So we're gonna uh, move away from this drop down. This is gone. And we're gonna be looking for the list view node from data shapes. It's a little bit more complicated than the drop down. has a few more inputs to tune. Um, now we don't actually need our sheet name either because we're gonna make sheets based on the names of the schedules themselves. So I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm also gonna take out an input. And over here, I'm also gonna get rid of the sheet before I forget. So all we have now is our path and our schedules. I'm going to delete my Excel export. Um, now we don't probably don't really need to say run completed or run cancelled. It's up to you um, when you want to say it and how you want to say it. Um, I'm just trying to think what the best time would be to do. I think it's actually better to say something different at the end of the script. So I'm going to delete this part of the script as well. Now we're still going to target a user interface at the end, but we're going to do it in a more creative way. Okay. So back with our list view, um, I'm going to connect this up as an input, but now we need to give it some values. So first of all, uh, we're now going to be sending through the same keys and values as before. So the values in this case are going to be the schedules. The keys are going to be the names. Um, and in this case, we're just going to say schedules because obviously there's more than one now. In this case, we can add some tuning variables as well, just to make sure that the user interface performs well. So in this case, you might want to say the size of the, of the, 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 the UI. So in this case, I'll say it's 400 maximum height. I'm also going to say that some things are going to be true and some things are going to be false in the options. So we're going to say maximum height is 400 or optional height. Now we're going to say we don't want to highlight in view. We don't want to display model or display mode only. Uh, we don't want to show the element count we do want to sort the items and we don't want to show the IDs. So a little bit of a mix and match of booleans there. The only thing that we said true to was to sort the items essentially. So at this point, we now have um, a new user interface to run. So what I'm going to do is just freeze this get data node from Biomorph Notes. I'm going to run. 
So it looks a little bit different now, right? Now we have a list view and a file path. So with just a very small change, we've completely changed the, func the functionality of our script. Let's just export um, maybe three or four schedules just to keep things simple. And I'm gonna select my Excel file and I'm gonna export. So in this case, we have run, we haven't canceled. Um, we're gonna have a list of schedules and then a path to write all this data to. So if I watch my schedules, you can see I have four schedule views instead of one now. Now it's important to note that we do wanna work um, at a particular level in this case. Note that all our schedules are occurring at level two. So we wanna read all the data of these elements. Now in this case, um, we probably don't actually need to use levels to inform this data at this point. I think it's gonna read across each schedule. So if I unfreeze and we run, in this case, we're gonna have a more complicated list structure. So at level two, um, we have the rows of each schedule. At level three, we have each schedule. And at level four, we have the list of lists. So we're gonna be working in this case at level three when we convert this data into a workable format. So we're gonna be using a special package today called Bumblebee, which allows us to do more advanced things with Excel. Now there's a lot of things Bumblebee can do, such as formatting data and cells, but in this case, we're just gonna write pretty rawly. So in this case, I'm gonna be using the write Excel node from Bumblebee, not from Dynamo. I'm also gonna be converting this into Bumblebee data. So in this case, we're essentially building a building block, which Bumblebee knows how to work with. It's converting the data into a different type um, that stores all these elements more accurately. So it's a pretty amazing package, quite a feat of engineering by the author, Conrad Sobon, so definitely credit to him. In this case, I'm gonna be reading my data, but I'm gonna be reading it at level three. So we're reading each schedule and turning each schedule into a piece of Bumblebee data. For the sheet name, we're actually gonna make this the name of the schedule. So you're gonna to have to be careful that you don't have any illegal character names in your schedule names, otherwise they may not export. Um, so if you have any characters Excel can't accept, um, just be mindful, you might run into some errors. But in this case, we're gonna say these are the sheet names. For the data origin, we're gonna work at A1. So the start of the cell. So in this case, we're not using zero as the column or the row, we're using strict Excel cell referencing. If I run this, we should see that we now have one piece of Bumblebee data. Um, now in this case, I think actually I've got it a little bit wrong. I might have to work at level four. Yes, yeah, so I have to work at level four, sorry, I got that wrong. So level four is where each schedule is contained. So it works across each item in the list, in this case being the schedule. So we now have one piece of Bumblebee data for each, um, in this case, each schedule that we're generating. Now I don't think you have to flatten the output here. Um, I don't typically flatten the output. I just keep it as a list. Um, I believe that works as well. So in this case, we're gonna connect our Bumblebee data. Uh, in this case, uh, we're not gonna work by column. So we're just gonna leave this as false because we're writing in rows currently. Um, and we're gonna run it and give it a file path. So the file path is still gonna be from our user interface. So I might just move this up a little bit. And also we're gonna say true, we always wanna run it. And finally at the end, um, we can use a UI to tell the user what happened. Now, one thing I like to do here is actually use the output from Bumblebee as the message because Bumblebee has built in error detection. It will actually tell you if it runs into a problem. Now, having said that, it doesn't necessarily put it in human readable language sometimes, but if it does work, it says success. So it's pretty obvious if it's worked. If it hasn't, you're gonna see a pretty big computer warning that tells you something's wrong. So what I'm gonna do is take out my wait for, and for the body, I'm just gonna connect this uh, output from, from the Bumblebee node itself. So at this point, I believe the script is actually complete. Um, so what I'm gonna do is save this as a demo script two. And I think we're ready to actually test this in Dynamo Player. Um, I don't wanna challenge Hubris too much, so I'm gonna actually try running it properly first, <laughs> just to be safe. I'm gonna run it in Dynamo, just in case there's any errors. So let's just take a few schedules I'm gonna pick my Excel file, I'm gonna export, and it should write each tab. There we go, success, it worked. So Bumblebee itself actually says success. So that's what we're seeing there. So if I reopen this Excel file, there we go, we can see we've got ceiling finishes, code legend, door schedule, fixtures, floor finishes, pretty amazing. Um, we've got every single schedule that we asked for. 
Um, we can always test it again and just rewrite, um, but typically I, I recommend working from an empty file. Uh, that way it doesn't have to write over the top of anything because Bumblebee will typically write over the top of pre-existing data. So you might have more data than was there before. So keep that in mind. Um, but now we'll just go through Dynamo Player instead. So Dynamo Player, Demo Script 2 in this case. And we should see our UI with our list view pop up. Great. Let's just do everything. Let's do every schedule and see how long it takes. I'm going to select in this case uh, my testing export file, which is currently empty. I'm going to export. Um, so this could be great if you have like room equipment lists on a health job, for example. If you want to export multiple room equipment lists with the tab being the room's name, this could be a way to do it. There we go. Um, so if we open up that file, we should see every single tab uh, that we have. And there you go. Every single schedule has exported. Some of them are empty, um, but most of them have quite a lot of information available. So pretty cool, right? Um, I thought that was a really fun script when I first built it uh, about maybe half a year ago um, and I've been using it for a lot of different things since then so um, um, hopefully that was a, a good exercise in user interface building as well um, and gives you a useful tool in future. So there we go, um, a fairly complex script by the end but quite a powerful outcome um, that can be used on pretty much any project that contains schedules that you want to export. Um, I've used this quite a few times and uh, I think it's a really great script and as always my scripts are over on GitHub if this was too complex for you to build. Um, just in case you want to just benefit from the outcome. Anyway, if you're not already following and subscribing, feel free to do so, and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Thanks, take care.